what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hi everyone, my name is Kieran the Barber and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a traditional Baldi's skull fade. Um, for that what we do is instead of a cut front razor going down to the skin, I'll be using my T-outliners with my foil shaver attachment and I'll be going up with a foil head just to get that right down to the bone, making it look real sharp, real close. On the top of the hair we're going to completely disconnect it all the way around and we're going to leave it real top heavy um, with curls. So we're going to real make these natural curls just stand out and lay heavy on the front of the fringe. Um, yeah, so wicked. Again, once again, as I say in all of my videos, if you like my video, give it a like. Please subscribe. Um, leave me a comment. I'm trying to get through so many videos on hair tutorials at the minute. I really want to do a shave video. I'm just waiting for someone with a huge beard who I can really do a shave down on it. Other than that, thank you very much. Hi everyone, right, so what I'm going to do is start with my T-outliner straight away, just with the T-outliner head. I'm going to go in straight away just to make myself a line all the way around the head. Taking it from the, just the top of the ear, coming down slightly to the middle of the ear, back to the top of the ear. Now I'm just going to shave all that up and off just with my T out on the head, just straight away. Get rid of all that bulk. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to change the T-outliner head for the Andis foil shaver head. Um, that is a zero gap T-outliner, it gets to stubble, it gets real as close as it can get. This is what most people call a skin fade, where it goes right down to the skin, unless they're obviously razor in it. I'm going to show you how to do a skull fade. So literally, my foil shavers. As you can see how close that is getting. There's no hair there whatsoever, that is. They're dead smooth. So I'm gonna do that all the way around the back of the head. 
before I go on to the front bit. I'll leave the tiniest gap, so I'll leave about a half an inch gap so I can blend. I like to do a, a circular motion in the hair just to make sure it gets all of it up, picks all the angles up. Because obviously hair doesn't necessarily flow all in one angle, it flows all different kind of angles. So I'll do is I'll go up, I'll come down, I'll go left and right, I sometimes circle. Try and get every angle possible just so it picks up every little bit of hair that you can get. Because sometimes just if you're going up and down on the hair, it just doesn't pick up every single one. So that's why I like to go every way possible, just to make sure it's nice and smooth all the way around. Like right guys, so when we do the skull fade on the sides, you can see I've taken it to the top of the ear here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match that. So I'm gonna come from the corner of the head, do the T outliners. Just going to come down at a very, very low angle. I'm just going to match that in just on that side. So then it all joins up from here, coming round. And I'll do exactly the same on the other side. There is a slight method to my madness because for some reason. I don't know sometimes how to explain myself, but that's what I'm showing you because I'm, I'm absolutely terrible sometimes at explaining myself. But my methods work. For me, they work anyway. For others, you might go, what an idiot. Why is he doing that for? Oh my God, that is the worst cutting I've ever seen in my whole life. But, to them people, I say, fuck you. I don't care. I'm awesome. And that's how it's going to be. the foreheads again, just literally gonna take it up. Just again, sort of do that spiral motion just to make sure I've got all them little bits of hair. to fade this in I'm going to be using my Andis fades um, with the flat head the surgical flat blade so what I'm going to do is I'm going to oil them up just literally one drip there where am I I'm here so one two three four and then that was the fifth one so you only need five tiny drops of oil just to oil them up just to get it started now I'm going to show you out from fading in from the back. So guys, now I've got the fades. What I'm going to do is, Harry put his head down slightly. I'm literally going to put this on a quarter. So I'm literally just lifting it up ever so slightly. I'm just going to slowly shave into that, not flicking it, shaving into it. Because it's on a flat head, you can't do a C motion. So what I'm going to be doing is just literally scratching away at that. literally lifting it up quarter of an inch if that 
the skin. I just want it to be a real gradual fade into the hair. I don't want to go in crazy. And then what I'll do is I'll put it on half grade. Half for a fade is probably just a little bit less than a half. And I'll literally just come up, just not, like lean in the lean in the two screws at the back of the head and literally just lifting up. So I'm not going into the hair, I'm coming up from the hair. These are what this is designed for. They're not designed to go in here, they're designed to fade up and out. And that's why they got that flat head on them for flat tops, high tops, even fading on the sides, because you're not meant to fade into the hair, you're meant to fade up and away from the hair. That's why it's called fading. You're just shaving it if you're shaving in, you're not fading out. So that's how I want to be fading out. So I realistically, I want to be taking that bit off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing it freehand. So I'm literally, slowly, slowly catchy monkey. I'm just going to be fading these bits just out. So now what I'm going to do is we've go around the edge and I've got my Captain Kai cutthroat razor. And I'm literally just going to go around these edges ever so slightly. Just to take off all like the baby hairs and stuff like that. Just making sure you've cleared around the ears. Right guys, so um, with the Kells, I'm literally going to club Kai it. Um, a good friend of mine, when I chatted to him at the NEC in Birmingham when we were doing the um, Barber UK, when cutting Kells, he said, always club cut it. This, this is from Tom Trapp. He's not really a friend. I don't actually really like him. But um, he's quite funny, bless him. So he said, ends need friends with Kells. So if you're going to texturize Kells, or you're going to thin them out, or you're going to do whatever, they're going to go really blunt. They're going to go really wiry. Um, if you want to get the full effect of like Kells with a perm, or etc, etc, try and keep them as thick as you can so they join together and they stick and they stay so as you say the more it's like a rope if you're going to thin out a rope it's just going to fizz everywhere a rope needs to have all of its thing to sort of curl up and swell same with the hair same with the perm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off just half an inch just club cut that nice and straight and I'm going to club cut that all the way back through the hair I might get I might keep the fringe a little bit longer and as I go back I'll get a little bit shorter just so we can have the fringe slightly heavier. But other than that I'm gonna dead straight cut that. Right. Come on, focus, focus. What? Right guys, so now Harry's hair is done with the cut, I'm going to style dry it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit of sea salt spray, let me come to the camera just to show you that this is let me just so this is Baldi's own It Tastes Salty sea salt spray now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this through the hair just so it gives it that beach effect, it clumps up the hair slightly. And then I'm literally finger drying. I don't, I don't really use diffusers. I'll take off my nozzle, mesh nozzle. And what I'll do is I'm just literally going to scrunch. I, I don't find diffusers helpful. I, don't, I just don't use them. They're not my cup of tea. So what I'll do is I'm going to plug this in first, obviously. That would really help. <laughs> Right, so now we're plugged in. I'm going to plug it in. What? You're going. Alright, see you in a bit. It's okay. Are you going to go bang? No. Right. Are you going to go bang? Oh, no. You're a filthy bastard. That's the part. Okay. Alright, bye, Tom. Alright, shush! 
Right, so now what I'm gonna do is Right, so now I'll put the sea salt spray in the hair. Um, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna I'm gonna come. That's <laughs> for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> right. So <laughs> fuck my life. Right. Now I'll put the sea salt spray in the hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna use a nozzle or a diffuser. I don't find diffusers helpful. That's just my opinion. Other people really like them. I prefer the, the sort of scrunch method technique. So I'm just gonna literally low heat, low, low power, and just scrunch away until it gets starts to get dry. So now that's dry, what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of Baldi's own product. This is Baldi's sticky as shit. And I'm going to be taking the tiniest bit. And literally, I'm going to be working that into my hands. Proper, like, warming it up. Before it goes into the hair, and then I'm just again just going to be scrunching that all the way through, just to make sure it gets all in the hair. So that is my version of a curly crop at the top with a skull fade at the sides and straight at the back, nice and high and tight. Oh, would you rub your